Do this drill on an intermediate trail that's groomed and has a consistent fall line. Start by straight running 15 meters down the fall line to get some speed. Then smoothly pivot both skis simultaneously 90 degrees so you go into a side slip for 6 meters. Then simultaneously pivot your skis in the opposite direction to another side slip. You'll do 4 side slips in all, 2 in each direction. The last side slip ends with an edge set and pole plant. Hold it for 3 seconds. During pivoting, your skis need to remain on the snow and parallel to each other. To do this drill correctly, you must have upper body and lower body separation. It is important to side slip sideways, straight down the fall line, trying to maintain a consistent speed. Things to look for when done correctly. Skis are pivoted simultaneously. Skis are hip width apart and remain parallel. Upper body is always facing down the hill and forward. The skier stays within a ski width corridor straight down the fall line. A pole plant coincides with an edge set at the conclusion of the drill where the body is held motionless for three seconds. The common mistakes are, the skier makes a step to start the pivot, the skier drifts outside the corridor, not down the fall line, sideways rotation with the upper body, not reaching down the hill with the pole plant, pole plant happens after the edge set, movement within three seconds after the edge set. Pivot slips will definitely wake your feet up in the morning. This drill is great because you're always moving. You have to be dynamic, you have to have a great feel, and you have to be smooth. Sounds familiar because that's exactly the way you're going to have to ski World Cup. There are so many variables and challenges in a ski race. This skill will give you the control you need to handle anything that comes your way.